almost kept going. I almost kept going, baby. We won. It was nine sets. Next exercise I'm going to are the lat pull downs. This one we can concentrate a little more on the lats and the movement. I want to show you a few things that I want you to keep in mind when you're working the lats. Let's go, baby. You want to make sure that when you pull the weight down and the elbows, shoulders, forearms are even and you're at a 90 degree angle, that's where you want to grab the bar. That's where, as you're holding the bar, when you pull it down at a 90 degree angle, you should see that 90 degree angle. If it's wider than that, it's going to be a weaker lap pull down. <sighs> But this is where your strength and your power is, right here. You're concentrating on a rounded uh, movement. Remember, all of the mu muscle groups are made in an arc. And as you're going through that motion, you want to focus on that arc. Okay, in this position, first movement is not here with the elbows, but it's ooh, here with the shoulders. And then you uh, follow through. The objective is not to touch your chest, but to get a full range of motion. Okay, it's time to stop working. I mean, stop talking. It's time to go to work. It's a good set. Objective here is not just to get to the, the weight to your chest. Oftentimes when you go in the gym, you'll find this. Next time you go in the gym, look for this. Somebody's doing a lat pull down, they'll pull down. And if they can't get it down far enough, they'll rotate the shoulders forward and pull. They're actually uh, recruiting other muscle groups and they're alleviating working the lat at the very height of that motion. So make sure you keep those shoulders back, elbows forward, Ugh, contract right there at the end. Okay, set number two. Focus, form. Now not only are my biceps being affected, but I'm starting to feel it in those forearms. Okay, last set. I'm in it to win it, baby. It's the way I play, I play to win. Last set, they always say, you hear this slogan, save the best for last? No, the best is for every set every rep. Don't save the best. <clears throat> Don't save the best. Oh yeah. That was good. 
Next, we're going to the rows. We're gonna do bent over rows. We're gonna go to the machine first, and then we're gonna go over to the dumbbells. Now, the important thing here is you wanna concentrate on opening the chest, pulling back, keep those shoulders down, and a rounded movement, open. Now, if you're going to isolate the traps, it's a whole different story. We'll do that in a minute. Here we go. Oh yeah, again, I'm feeling those biceps. So I'm really having to force my shoulders back. That's what contracts your back. It's not the pulling of the elbow back, but it's the pulling uh, of the shoulder back. That's what isolates the round boards. <laughs> okay, here we go, set number two. <sighs> 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 Seats a little bit low. got a little bit shabby on that set so rather than sacrifice the form I'm gonna lighten the weight a little bit again the biceps are fatigued from the pull-ups and the lap pull-downs so rather than sacrifice a great back workout for the fatigue in my arms I'm gonna go down and wait Okay, last set here. Here we go, set number three. Come on, biceps. One more set, baby. Oh yeah. Next exercise, we're gonna go over to the dumbbells. These are called dumbbell 
bent over rows. One thing in, in my workouts, you'll never see me do a single arm roll, and I'll tell you why. One of the reasons why it's hard to get a peak contraction with any amount of weight when you're doing a single arm roll, and I'll show you why. With the single arm roll, as you pull back, the body has the ability to turn, never really getting a peak contraction. But if you're using both arms and you come all the way back, the only thing you can do is uh, force a peak contraction and you can't roll to one side or the other. So with using heavier weight, it's easier to get a peak contraction and build the depth in the center of your back when you're using two dumbbells at the same time. And you can do it standing or you can use an incline bench. The incline bench, what's so awesome about that is it takes the pressure off the lower back. So you're not concentrating on your lower back. Especially if you're not preparing for competition. You don't want to concentrate on your lower back. You want to concentrate on those rhomboid, rhomboids and separating uh, from the center of your back and developing the striations, the depth, and the thickness. So I'll show you what it looks like. So first movement, lift the chest, pull the shoulders back, not elbows, uh, but shoulders. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I can really, really feel that in the center of my back. I'm gonna concentrate on pulling all the way back and uh, squeezing at the top. Don't just lightly go through the motion, but get that contraction. Focus the mind into the muscle, right there where the spine is in the center. Squeeze and contract the muscles right next to the spine. Squeeze tight and you'll start to feel that separation there. That's what builds that depth and separation in the back. Okay. That's a beautiful set. Okay, here we go, last set. Come on, power, strength, drive. I don't know if you remember what I said to you earlier. Look at this, can't get away from it. I rod, iron, I own this, here we go, I own it, ah, uh. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby, that was three. Next we're gonna do shoulder shrugs. Now, I don't do shoulder shrugs very often and part of the reason why is that it would be very easy to build traps that would overpower the lats and the frontal look. 
And what happens with bodybuilding is that can actually take away from the aesthetics of the body. Um, a lot of people love massive, massive traps. But the worst thing you can hear from a judge or from the audience is, wow, look at those traps. That means they, they stand out more than anything else. What you want to hear is, wow, look at that physique. It's a whole package. Let's go do traps. Okay, here we go, set number one. With the traps, the objective is not just to get the shoulders moving, but to pull the shoulders as close to the ears as you possibly can. That's the objective. So that's the thought process. So as you're pulling the shoulders up, ah, pull the ear and the shoulder together. Ah, squeeze it all the way through. Maximize, if you're gonna do it, maximize the range of motion of that trap. And uh, Really dig deep into that muscle group. Okay, watch my traps as, as I do it this time. Pull this up a little bit. felt that. One more set there and we go to biceps. Okay, here we go, last set. Starting to feel those forearms. Every time I try to grip, the forearms are tight. So I've got to hang on, here we go. Three sets. Now we're going to bicep curls. 